I'm Alan Cross. I work at UKRI at STFC Darsbury. Back when I was younger, I was torn between the arts and the sciences. I trained as an actor back in the day and then became a singer. And in 2007, I joined the British Interplanetary Society. And now I'm the European Space Agency's Business Applications Ambassador. No, I don't work in research, okay? I work in innovation. And innovation is when two seemingly disparate ideas come together. It works when people of different perspectives are in the room, different experiences, different knowledge bases. And that includes LGBTQ+, that's what drives innovation. When I think about LGBTQ plus role models in research and innovation. It's, it's slim pickings, to be honest, but the ones that are there are significant. For example, Alan Turing, two days ago was the anniversary of his suicide. There was someone who never knew the impact that he had. More and more, gay people are feeling comfortable in research and innovation. If someone out there is watching this who is interested in the sciences, in research, in innovation, who also identifies as LGBTQ+, come and join us. We need you. We really need you. And I'll tell you now, science can learn from the LGBTQ+, community. It can learn from pride. It has to learn to communicate on a human level. I'm coming to the conclusion, with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, that the diversity and need for pride and the discussions about race you have to think of it like COVID-19 first of all except you, you probably don't know anything about it secondly listen to the experts listen to the people who've experienced it and who know about it try and ignore those who just react the LGBTQ plus is always going to have a slight struggle but I was hoping in the future people just don't care